Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to add text in Infinite Painter, because there is no official tool for it inside the Infinite Painter, there are only two ways you can do it. The first way is to use any third party application like Infinite Design to create text image, simply create a canvas, and use the text tool. Type any text you want to create here. You can modify your text any ways you like, you can increase the size, or change its opacity also. You can also select any font you like from here, there are many options for you to choose. You can change it to vertical or a circle or any shape you like. When you're satisfied with the text, export it as PNG. Remove the background before exporting. Then you can just import the text image inside the Infinite Painter application from here. Second way is to create a stencil brush to draw your own custom font design. As you can see, you can create almost all alphabets using this stencil. To create this stencil, create a square canvas, I'll use 1920 pixels, and disable the time lapse option, we don't need it. First enable the grid tool, it will help us to find the center, now disable the magnet. Now use the ellipse tool and place it exactly in the middle. Draw a perfect circle with any brush, big enough to touch the edges of the canvas, use any color you like. Now, disable the ellipse tool and create a layer on the top then take a screenshot of this stencil I'm about to show. After that import that screenshots from here, select the layer option, and keep the stencil inside the circle. Now, create a layer above and use the monoline brush to trace this stencil image, after you're done tracing, export it as PNG, and keep the background disabled. Now go to the calligraphy section and look for monoline brush, select it and duplicate it. Now we have two of them, you might want to change its name from here. Go to the settings in the head section, and then import the PNG file from the gallery, then select it. Keep these two options enabled. Now draw a stroke and hold it to see all changes in real time, after that, change the spacing until it stops overlapping each other. To turn the stamp according to the brush movement, change this bar to tangent. If you don't want it to turn, keep it fixed. All other settings are default. Now, let's create this text effect using this stencil. Draw a vertical line and hold it to adjust it, lower its size until you get exactly the same number of letters, here I need 4 only. Lower its opacity and create a layer above it. Change the background to a lighter color for now, you can choose any color you like. Now use the grid tool to draw the alphabets. Draw all the letters in separate layers. You can disable the snapping by disabling the magnet option. The last letter is T, I'll just duplicate it, and drag this layer below the X layer. Now use the basic transformation to move the letter T to its place. Now disable the tool and use the fill tool to fill color on the letters. Hide the stencil layer, now, duplicate each alphabet layer and enable the alpha lock then fill black color on it. Disable the alpha lock from each layer, and apply the blur filter on it.
use the basic transformation and select each shadow layer then move it a little lower. Now lower the opacity of each shadow layer. Change the background color to black. Use the basic transformation to adjust the position of each text layer. Lastly, use the grid tool to move all the layers close to the center. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.